Hi, we're Stephen and Jess and Little Hunter, and over the summer we worked hard turning a cargo van into a tiny house on wheels. Meet Cooper the van. And just last week we hit the road for a full lap around Australia. We cannot believe it. We've left! Woohoo! With hopefully not too many issues. Time. Let's see if it does it. It makes me feel like I'm going to cry about it. I don't oh, know why. <laughs> oh, what's up? I think this van life thing is going to take some time to adjust to. This video is brought to you by the Ultralight LG Gram Laptop. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of van life today. We are hitting the road and heading more north up to Coral Bay. So we thought we'd show you guys a rough idea of where we want to go because we started here in Perth. Yes, we are using our fancy Australia map and still have yet to put it up. <laughs> We're still discussing and debating where this should go. But anyway, we started in Perth and we're currently all the way up the coast here near Carnarvon. And what our goal is, is over the next week or so, making our way up to the top. Because at the moment, it is winter here in Australia. It is super cold. So we kind of want to start hanging out all up here. So it's time to hit Ningaloo Reef. And clearly, van life has gone to an amazing start. Yes, this is a sink full of dishes. And um, yes, we, <laughs> we don't have any more water. We realized when we filled it up, we clearly filled it up wrong because there's only a tiny bit of water. And now we're left with all these dishes. I think we need to go find some water. Is there anyone still here who feels just a little like me? And it's midnight in Houston, but my watch it says 10.43. And I'm trying my best to believe in the best left in me. So I think we're still adjusting to realizing that we still have a house with us because um, Belly was grumbling. We all were wanting some lunch. And then I remembered, Steve, I could just cook lunch on the side of the road. What are we having? I'm thinking sausage sizzle. Oh. What do you think, Hunter? Sausage sizzle? <laughs> She's already got a mouthful of banana. Thinking Hunter, sausage? Hunter, sausage sizzle? We've got these sausages. What do you think? And bread? Oh. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh you, you just want banana, don't you? Yes, please, Mum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I think we need to uh, <laughs> remember to park straight. Stay. So probably our number one question we get asked with our particular build is where are you guys going to go to the toilet? And um, thankfully we did this in Australia because there are toilets everywhere. So along the road there are plenty of toilet spots and even when we get into major towns, gas stations, there's toilets just about everywhere. Oh, what has mom made you? Sausage and nani. Thanks Bubs. Cheers Hunter. Cheers. Cheers, fam. Beep. Thanks for cooking. We approve, Mum. We just crossed the Tropic of Capricorn. Day to rest neath bloody moon. Inhale the smoke, kick off your shoe. Rest assured that she's been followed through. You know your worth. So we've just arrived in Coral Bay and it is so busy. I cannot believe we got like the last spot left at the two caravan parks that are here. Absolutely packed. I think it's because at the moment everyone has the same idea and they're traveling around in the caravan and Coral Bay is a pretty epic spot, but we've stopped. The sun is setting and I've just cooked up. Look at this, Steve. Well, let's have a look. It is a, aren't you excited? It is a veggie soup. Wait for this. Oh, mate, Look that looks this. so good. My first soup in the van. Okay, the sunset looks too good. So we've decided to carry everything across the road and eat the soup on the beach for sunset. Hunter, do you want some soup? Are you ready for soup? Are you ready for exploring? So I'm not sure about the soup. Yeah, there's birds over there, Hunter. You see all the birds? Do you want some
some soup? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to show them what you did? So Madam decided that she did not want to wear her bib, which turned into her. I know. She kicked sand all in her meal but ate mum soup. So, yeah, there's birds. And Hunter, where's the moon? Where's the moon? Yeah, up there, there's the moon. And where's the birds? Where's all the birds? That way. That way. That's the moon. And where's the birds? Over there. Over there. Over there. <laughs> it's the birds. Over there. <laughs> Over there. I'm trying to help Hunter, you. Hunter, where's the bird? While Jess goes and gives Hunter a bit of a bath, I've been trying to find a brand new Netflix show to watch. I feel like there's just nothing good out at the moment watching Loki, but that comes out once a week. So if you guys have any suggestions for us for a new show to watch because we have plenty of time on our hands, please do let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Morning guys, it's the next day and we've just had the most epic morning. One of the reasons we love our home state of Western Australia is the incredible marine life that hangs out towards the top. A few years back we had the awe-inspiring time swimming with whale sharks and even this past year we took it to the next level by coming within a few feet of a humpback whale. There was one more we had to tick off, and that was swimming out in the ocean with manta rays. So we packed up Cooper in the morning and we headed out on crystal clear waters on the Ningaloo Reef. If you're wondering how we do this with a toddler who can't swim yet, we kind of tag team across two groups. I jump in, have a snorkel, while Jess sits with Hunter, and then we swap. Honestly, with all these boat trips, Hunter just sleeps for most of it. It was so incredible swimming with these giants of the sea. One appeared, then two, and that day we swam with five manta rays. A truly unforgettable morning. We are on our way out of Coral Bay and we found there's only one fuel station. Currently at the fuel station, yep, there is no building at all. It is just a pump and a place to pay. While Stephen is fueling up, I'm sneakily going to have the first bite of our jam donut. When we said we were coming to Coral Bay, a bunch of you told us to go to the Coral Bay Bakery and I can see why. It is so busy. I feel like it is the, <laughs> the hottest place here in Coral Bay, but they're famous for their jam donuts mmm it's good right I need some jam mmm whoa that is good <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. try yum mm. By the way, no, it's so good. 60 liters, 100 bucks. Whoa. Still don't know how much fuel this takes because I maxed out my, <laughs> my pre-authorization. A lot of people said, please make sure you fill up before you get to Coral Bay. And I saw these messages once we got here. Yum. And um, I know how good is it. Mm -hmm. So I definitely recommend if you're coming to Coral Bay, fill up before you get here because as you can see, the fuel station is, the, this is the only one, no building and um expensive, but by the way, this morning, the manta rays, absolutely amazing. We're swimming with like five giant manta rays. Steve and I just took turns while Hunter slept. Um, but yeah, today we are heading off to a spot called Ballara. It's an hour away and it's like a station stay and then they have animals and stuff. So I think it's going to be a good little spot to stay with Hunter. And I'm hoping Hunter wants us to leave. I'm hoping that you can do fires there. And I told Stephen this time, if he's going to be cutting wood, he needs to wear shoes because, yeah, you guys have told him off in the last video. Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts. Tired of staring out the window. Eating too much, drinking too much. Tired of watching the grass grow. Channel two, channel three, back to channel two. I watched everything in my queue. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. We have an 
haven't shown them my makeshift fly net yet. Oh, oh, show them. Okay, this is my genius thing I made. Even used hot glue gun and everything. So this is my fly net. And then at the top, I put some Velcro so it just sticks on. So you just stick her on. And then where the hot glue gun came in handy is I hot glued magnets to it. Yeah. So then the magnets make it stick to the sides of the van. Come on, Steve, this is pretty smart. Very smart. I'm and I got a fly spray, a fly net. There you go, boom. Fly net. Because we've just arrived at a cattle station and there's definitely flies around. Show them what's in front of us. Staying right on a farm. What do you see? What's over there? Yeah, there's sheep. Oh, hi sheep. Hey guys. Just passing through. So a lot of you guys are actually asking what we do for showers when we're on the road, seems we don't have one in our van. Well, we only book campsites that actually have showers and um, some of them are your standard cubicles. And you guys said we have to be worried about spiders in the bathroom? You done in there, mate? <laughs> Other ones are pretty unique like this one. So here at the station they actually have a donkey shower and it's run completely by fire. So we need to make sure that it's nice and warm so that we have a nice toasty shower. It's just a bucket amongst some gum trees warmed up by the fire. I think we have found the resident kangaroo. I feel like at every place we've stayed at so far, they've all had resident kangaroos. Hey, buddy. The sun has just set and I just went to walk around the camp and it has such a cool atmosphere. There's little camp kitchens all around, people just doing communal barbecues, just listening out to the animals all around. The stars are starting to just twinkle a bit and the full moon is out. This is probably my favourite spot we have stayed at. I wish we could stay longer. This is the only night we could get in and then they're just fully booked up for the rest of the month. But just thankful we could be here. This is so cool, just in front of the cattle. <laughs> I'm shocked. This is all I would do on this. It's for nights like this. I think we may be on the wrong side of Pasadena And the grass ain't no shade green It's just a little detour from the place we set out for when we the church last Easter singing hallelujah preacher I know just what I ought to come on <laughs> good girl We thought, seeing as this place is such a cute camp kitchen, we should come out and cook breakfast outside today. Made up some scrambled eggs. I think Hunter approves. What do you think? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Steve and I just realized we've been on the road now for almost a week and we're talking about our feelings towards it and how it's been so far. And one thing that has been so special 
It makes you feel like I'm gonna cry about it. I don't oh, know geez. why. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> I'm so lame. <laughs> Oh, Jess, do you need a hug? <laughs> no, it's happy tears. Because it's been so nice seeing Hunter just, like, loving it so much. Yeah. Like, we'll get to a place. Like, the other day, we got to a place, opened up the door, and she got so excited to explore. She ran straight up to a sprinkler, just started playing. Being a <laughs> She's turning. It's like she knows I'm upset. Yeah, just seeing how much Hunter has been loving it. We've just been playing outside together, or, like, the one-on-one -on -one time that she's been able to have with you this week yeah, now that you've finished nice. building the van and just being able to like share with her like sunrises sunsets on the beach <laughs> she's telling you all her favorite things it's just been so special i just feel super grateful hey. <laughs> do you just know mama got upset you want to go explore outside well, of course you can ready let's do it it's the first time really wearing shoes because I just thought the ground is so rocky. Usually I prefer her just gone barefoot, but here not so much. Go to dad. Let's do it. She is so close to walking. She still doesn't feel confident. She has to hold on to one finger. One finger is better than two. One finger. Do you guys know our wine um, grows on trees in Australia? So what makes this spot extra cool where we parked up Cooper for the night is that this used to be a sheep farm a hundred years ago. They've now swapped to cattle, but it's so cool because the old wool shed from a hundred years ago is still here today. I really like this. This is where they do the burgers. Oh uh, yeah. On Friday night they do burger night. And I have a feeling they might cook them out there on that big grill because you can see that the fire is still going from last night. What a cool place to hang out. Definitely think we need to come back here on a Friday night. So we've quite the drive ahead of us today and we should be hitting the road, but there is something very important that we need to wait 10 more minutes for. Oh. Jesse has the goods. Open it up, let's see him. What's this? Oh, yum. So this place is known for their Oh, oh, homemade scones. Do you know what? Scones, I feel like, are not appreciated enough. You have them like once when you go to your grandma's and then you just never have them. But when you're in the middle of the outback and this is what they're famous for, this is what you order. Are <laughs> they good? <laughs> now we can hit the road. Especially because these are the first ones straight out of the oven. I know you're moving on. here somewhere so we've been driving for about three hours now and we're all pretty hungry so we kind of just stopped in the middle of nowhere and Jess is currently in the boot getting that one item which I see it you need to think whether we should have brought it or not like is it gonna last the whole road trip okay look I may have packed a whole air fryer. Best time to use it. So we're actually running a little bit on fumes up in here. There's really not much food in here. I think we definitely need to do a top up of groceries. Also, we still haven't really solved our water issue. We have run out of drinkable water. So we're living off ginger beer until we get to Tom Price this evening. I can't complain though. I know you're making fun of me now, Steve, but when it comes to your birthday and I'm able to bake you a freshly made cake in my air fryer, you'll be very impressed, okay? I just love... Is this is this the first time that an air fryer has been used in no. this? I'm sure there's other caravanners that have a Kmart $49 air fryer, right? <laughs> it's still got the... It's still got the... I haven't yet used it. Have you ever used an air fryer? No. Do you know how to? No. <laughs> do we have do we have reception? Let me see. All right. Should I just write how long 
to cook <laughs> veggie nuggies in air fryer. I'm trying to read it. Oh, here we go. So 200 degrees, 15 minutes. I don't see a go sign. Oh, there. On. Oh, no. Turn it off. Ah, it's on. Don't know how to turn it off. Just chuck it in. Are you meant to open it up when it's on? Oh, there we go. So I guess I'm only having them, seeing as uh, I am the one that brought the air fryer and you were against it. Hey, I'm not saying no to um, chicken nuggies out here in the middle of the outback. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh, this seems to be falling properly. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Whose idea was to cook outside? We can't be known oh, as the bad go. lifers that have an air fryer. <laughs> Yes, we can. 15 minutes, 200 degrees. Hunter is cooking. Okay, let's see if there was success. You ready? Oh, oh my gosh, they're like really cooked. Whoa, I've look never at used that. One oh Come my on. gosh, that's so cool. Did we just hack the system? That was quicker than at home, Steve. We hacked the system. It was a good idea to pack it, right? Yeah, I'm with you. Oh that. my gosh. I'm shocked. <laughs> Are you actually shocked? I'm shocked. I've never <laughs> used one before. It looks so good. Look at that. Hunter. That's like cooked. No oil. The funny thing is, everyone had this realization a year ago in 2020 when everybody bought air fryers. I think that's why they were all available. And I was like, we, we need to get one. 49 get bucks from them. Kmart. <laughs> So crispy! Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's good, huh? Oh my gosh, I need to document this. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh, okay, so we've been really, really low on fuel. I'm just like grabbed the phone to tell you guys what happened. We've run out of fuel. We run out How of fuel said we we're two minutes, we're 1.7 kilometers away from the petrol There's the station. shell, I see it on here. And we've run out of fuel. Like, it what looked... do we do? I've never run out of fuel before. Let's see if I can start it up. No way. And wiggles down. Oh my gosh! Wait. It's not even starting, Steve. Resurf fuel level. Steve. Okay. Oh <laughs> my god, what do you do? Thank god we have it. We're, we're 1.7 kilometers away, we've run out of fuel! Let's wait one more time, let's see if it does it. Don't ruin it. No, don't right, do it. Let's it off. So now what? what? No. Should we call the fuel station and ask Yeah, them? let's give him a call. <laughs> Hi mate, is this the Shell station at uh, Parabadu? Yeah, this is Shell, Call the Shell, Parabadu. Oh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, we've actually, we're not sure what to do. We've just broken down, run out of broken fuel. Down. Well, not broken down, run out of fuel and we're 1.7 kilometers away from you guys. What would be the best way to sort this out? Do we walk over and get like a jerry can or is there, we're just not sure in this situation? Yeah, diesel jerry can. Wicked. Why don't you just bring the pram and then you can carry it back in the pram? Yeah, wicked, I'll do that. Okay. All right, mate. All right, cool. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Thanks so much. Do you mind putting one of those aside for me? Okay, bye. <laughs> See you in 40 minutes? <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah, it could be way worse. I can't believe I think that. we need to keep this jerry can and keep it filled up in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> 40 minutes. Hi. Alrighty. It's quarter past three. I just couldn't believe... <laughs> I'm still in shock. I think we were like filled up halfway and then we saw a fuel station and I think in my head I uh oh you wanna give me maybe I'll see if we can hitch a ride. 
I think in my head I was like, okay, it's like 150 kilometers to the next spot, and obviously we blew through that 150 like so quickly. <sighs> Note to self, we're not we're not pushing it next time. Hey mate, I think I called you about the diesel problem. <laughs> So Stephen is now in the middle of the day, it's so hot now, walking all the way to the petrol station and he's brought the pram and then he's going to be pushing, uh, I guess, a jerry can back full of fuel for the car. Fuel sorted, got my baby in the pram. You guys are just going to have to let me know below. This isn't weird walking through a little country town with a pram and there's no baby, there's just a big old red jerry can. See coming out like this. Alrighty, lesson learned. Always have some spare diesel on you and uh, top up at every fuel station that you can see. We just wanted to say a massive thank you to LG for partnering up with us on this video for their brand new LG Gram laptop, the world's lightest laptop. This has been amazing to have on the road because living in such a small space, just having something that is easy, I can just chuck on the bed, I can do some work in our living room, move it all around. It's been fantastic for editing vlogs, watching Netflix, as well as looking up how to use an air fryer. So if you are interested in picking one up, I'll leave all the details in the description. Thanks so much for watching our video guys, and we will see you next time. Bye.